I'm Antonio Cupo and I play the character of Marco Moretti. I'm Jody Balfo and I play Gladys. And I'm Meg Tilly and I play Lorna Corbett. I was just going to say Lorna. <laughs> you know, the most interesting thing about this when, when I read it was, um, was its historical significance, you know, what it, what it meant to be part of that of that time, and then I read the character of Marco Moretti, and I was like, that was perfect, you know, it's like an Italian character living in Canada. Uh, for me, I think I, I'm in a very different place in my life and my career than Antonio and Meg, I suppose, and so once I, I fell in love with the sides, the, I mean, the excerpts from the script that you just get for your audition, I hadn't even had the first episode to read when I auditioned for it first, and I could tell from these, like, random four pages of dialogue that if I didn't get this, I was going to have to, like, set aside a week to mourn because <laughs> it was just everything that oh. I got into this industry for, you know. We waited 18 years for Meg, and now she's free. <laughs> so <laughs> we're, we actually, we're actually quite lucky. Um, we're hoping she doesn't go on hiatus again. <laughs> but, um, no, it's, it's, um, it's, it's a great, it's a truly great story, I think. Yeah. You know, it's a great story. And I think that um, whatever you think is going to happen probably won't and whatever you don't want to happen probably will <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's what's going to make it that's what's going to what's going to draw you in it's going to make you you know it's going to hook you in for for the whole entire time and i like how everybody's not exactly what you think they are that, that that's human so to me what's fascinating is everybody's different arcs and how sometimes we rise up and sometimes we sink down and to me i think that's really beautiful and i also think it's um you know, first there was the suffragettes, but then there was this. <coughs> I think this is a really important time for women. It's like Mad Men meets Pearl Harbor meets... Uh, kind of like something that's a lot more about relationships as well. I mean, the war's the backdrop, right? Like Mad Men, um, the 50s is the backdrop for it. Um, and the avatar, or the advertising firm is the backdrop of it. And you get, what we get to show people is p the way humans interacted in 1941. So 1941 is the backdrop. <laughs> Amazing, in one word. Uh, I didn't know what it was going to be like coming into it, you know, but it's, it's, it's pretty neat to see, you know, 14 women on a call sheet and your name nestled between them. I just, I, I actually took, I kept the call sheet because I had to like scan it and send it to my friends and be like, ha 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 ha, look what I'm doing and you're not here, ha ha. You know, it's just like, it, it, it was very cool, but more than, more than just working with women, I got to work with some of the best act actors that I've ever worked with. So, um, I mean, that's uh, a pleasure for, for any actor, you know. It just so happens that they're female and I'm male. <laughs> I'm naked for most of the time. Uh, <laughs> I just thought I'd let the viewers know that. Uh, no, just kidding. Um, there, you know how to sell that. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you want, no. Um, no, I think that... Um, Sell or repel, you just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen the full product, so. <laughs> oh, it's just a beautiful piece. I mean, there's just there's so, there's so many reasons to watch this show. <laughs> <laughs> <Not> unintended. <laughs>